Parmel's area clearance functionality includes a technique known as race line roughing. Race line roughing is a high speed roughing technique which is highly suitable for inserts or core shape parts. The race line roughing is a combination of model offsetting and smoothing allowance. In this example we're going to be comparing this race line roughing technique with the more conventional roughing technique and discuss the benefits uh, of the race line roughing over the standard uh, conventional roughing. The first toolpath we're going to create is a conventional roughing toolpath using the all type offsetting algorithm. If we look at this toolpath down the Z axis and we use the dynamic sectioning to take a single slice through the toolpath, we can see more clearly the results of using this conventional all offsetting. When using conventional roughing, the profile of the outer block, in this case our rectangular block, is merged with the profile of the part. This merged profile is then offset by our step over to give us our toolpath at that particular level. But because we are offsetting the profile of the block, which is a rectangle, then the toolpath contains many 90 degree corners. As you can see on the screen, we can add arcs into these corners to make the toolpath run quicker, but the machine tool still has to slow down to get round the 90 degree bend. If we now create a new toolpath using the race line roughing technique, so we're now using model offsetting to begin with, so you can see the toolpath is totally different. This time we've ignored the outside of the block in the calculation and just taken the finished profile and offset that profile outwards until uh, it reaches the edge of the block. You can see that the benefit of this is that we have far less change in direction and the majority of the toolpath is actually straight line moves. When we combine this model offsetting technique with the, a smoothing allowance, this is what's known as the race line technique. This is where Pamel will try and smooth out even further any changes in direction. So here we can see now that even more of the toolpath than previous has been smoothed out and the majority of the toolpath in this case is simply a straight line move from one edge of the block to the other edge of the block. So by smoothing out these toolpath, it allows the machine tool to run a lot quicker on the machine. One of the side effects of this smoothing can be that our actual step over is increased beyond our program step over. Now, in the majority of cases, this will not be a problem. But in certain instances where the step over increases too much, the tool could potentially be overloaded because the width of cut becomes too great for the tool. So the offset area clearance strategy also has an option called restrict overload. And this basically detects 
when the tool is taking too big a cut which could potentially damage the tool or put extra overload or stress on the tool and it will insert what's known, what's known as a trochoidal pattern. A trochoidal pattern is a series of helical moves strung together to actually peck away or nibble away at the material rather than plough straight into it. So here we can see where it, the tool is changing direction and there is an increase in the step over. Powermill has inserted these triangle moves to prevent any full width cuts and obviously prevents any damage to the tool. Okay, so that is the, the basic difference between uh, a conventional roughing toolpath and a high speed race line roughing toolpath. To finish off, we're just going to simulate all these different styles of toolpaths in the view mill so we can see clearly what happens actually on the part. So here we have the conventional roofing toolpath where we have the many changes in direction as we're offsetting from the block and from the part. Now we're going to look at the simulation of the model offsetting technique. Here you can see that a lot of the toolpath is a straight line move and we're starting from the outside of the block maintaining a climb milling direction all the time and working our way inwards to the finished part profile. So this is a much improved toolpath over the previous toolpath as there are far less changes in direction. The last toolpath is a combination of our model offsetting in conjunction with our smoothing and our trochoidal. So we can see the benefits of that.